Hello everyone and welcome into another episode of Battlefront of One. We are in the Group B, Round 2, Game 2 actually, not Round 2, Game 2 between Felix Anius and uh, Hungry Troll. This time it's going to be Westwald. We got Rohan against Gondor. Gondor moving forward, Ro his Rohan counterpart is doing exactly almost the same. He's going on the edges of the map on the right and, uh, on the right and left side. Mm, which Papa I will mm, propose everyone to do is to move one unit forward, one unit on the left on right side. Or just using the hobbits uh, like um, Hungry Troll is doing. So Hungry Troll is going to take uh, middle farms over there, middle settlements, which is really good. He will spot most of the things over there, while his hobbit will take um, the settlements uh, on the left side. Felix Anius will be able to spot it top and uh, top and bottom and as for Rohan he would like to go for Rohirims he's Felix Anus is on host he is a Rohan player and he will definitely go for some Rohirims because at the beginning Rohirims are better against anything else and li a little bit decent deny over there I assume by Felix Anus with the Mary he was able to deny this farm really good choice really good pickup and he's microing pretty good, but it's on his host, it's nothing out of the ordinary for this kind of player. He's coming around the settlement to not allow Gondor play to take it. And he's doing a really decent job over there, microing out and in with his Mary, trying to pick up Gondor soldiers one by one, step by step. Um, he got clock already, only two units over there, and he will clock over here, deny the settlement and even locked it out uh, so the Gondor player will not be able to use it. On the other side as we can see Gondor was able to take the top side over here for him and he will go towards the northern side, his neutral settlement. Uh, Hungry Troll decided to go for only one blacksmith, no farms inside his fortress because he got lots of uh, settlements and he is going for Gondor's stables. Rohirrim stables is already here, Rohirrim is on the way in a matter of seconds I assume. Let's check it out. Not yet, it seems that Felix Anius doesn't have resources and he needs to fight with uh, Gondor soldiers. He got to bought some peasants, so Rohirrim will be a little bit later, but it doesn't really matter. They will be faster than, of course, uh, Gondor knights and they are tougher in the beginning. Hungry Troll got healed against the uh, draft. And now Mary may die, actually. We'll see how it goes. No. There he goes away. Felix Anius will took the farm over there and his peasants are going to deal some damage towards the farm on the far north, the neutral farm for Gondor player. Gondor player going for knights while trying to take down the Rohan farm, leveling up to level 2 with Gondor soldiers. But here we go with Rohirrim's first battalion with Rohirrim's on the way, well on the way as well to heal up units and I think this Gondor, uh, this Rohan farm will stay alive. It seems, it seems that Rohirrims are enough to deal uh, damage towards uh, Gondor soldiers. So level 2. And now it's time for creeping for Rohan. The same will go for for Gondor, but Gondor player lost his uh, Pippin over there. He was forced to revive him. So he's creeping the war clerk. He doesn't care about the settlement he is about to lose. Another blacksmith to make cheaper the upgrades later on. So we just uh, can recognize that uh, Hungry is thinking ahead, trying to go with blacksmiths as fast as possible. As for uh, Felix Anius, he is doing the usual stuff, creeping with Rohirrims, even using some peasants. We'll see some Rohan Rohirrim archers. They're really good against Gondor knights at the beginning of the game. You got four blacksmiths at the moment for Gondor play player to makes cheaper those upgrades they will be really important for the Gondor player and the Gondor knight we got two battalions they both trying to get to the war player as we can see there will be interest interception and creepjack uh, from Rohan player let's check the parapens we got heal from Felixanius and uh, heal from Hungry Troll but of course Rohirrims without upgrades are better than Gondor knights so Gondor knights got to get away as fast as possible low on health and it's not possible to do anything else. Heal has been used by Hungry Troll, so there is no hope for him at the moment. He was able to heal this battalion over there. 
and level it up to level 3 but he is going to lose the creep at the moment and almost entire battalion was killed as well in the process he was unable to outmaneuver the entire battalion as he would like to do it there is the elfin hood, there is a heal so even knights with uh, force blades are not enough the elfin hood wasn't enough as well and the knight uh, on level 3 with upgrades with force blades got to retreat so forge blades are not enough against the uh, Rohirrim archers definitely if they are back up by some Rohirrims you get to have shields so it's going to be a little bit tougher for our Gondor player over here he had two battalions he is trying to um, restore them and upgrade them as I mentioned forge blades on the way definitely heavy armor should be on the way as well but he doesn't have resources it seems only 700 resources at the moment so it's tougher and tougher for Gondor player to do something also he is losing the map control as we can see he doesn't have uh, lots of uh, thing outside but still those two settlements are in his grasp so it's something at least there is also Theoden on the Yomer on the battlefield with his spear throw maybe we'll see Yomer but I don't think so there is the elfin wood for Rohan at the moment and this is his side over there there will be a spear throw and one battalion is dead already uh, stables on level 2 so knight's shield upgrade is possible to be brought to life but it's going to be tougher and tougher a level 2 and a half for Eomer we are working, he is working to get level 4 and horse shields uh, horse lord uh, leadership for his units he got outlaw leadership so he will get some resources out of killing units which is pretty decent we got heavy armor for a Rohan player as well he got armory and is going for forge blades so he will be ahead in uh, even the upgrades we got Theoden as well on the battlefield and it's really really getting tougher and tougher for the Gondor player to do something he need to stay in the, at home staying at home uh, doesn't allow him to get back uh, on his feet actually and will not be able to creep but he may be forced to stay at home wait for the Gandalf and then do something because right now he is only leveling up those uh, Gondor Knights and uh, Eomer really good spear for once again really good pickup and another uh, unit is dead Theoden on the battlefield as well there was heal but isn't enough I don't think so as we can see Gondor Knights got to retreat only one knight uh, remains from the entire battalion and there is no spear throw and there is no needed so there will be another spear for Theoden in the castle, not really, but another knight has been killed. It was low on health and uh, it allows uh, Eomer to receive level 3. We got Eomer and Theoden on the battlefield. If both those heroes are receiving level 4, it's going to be disaster for the uh, Gondor player, even with uh, Gandalf the, the white. Mm, so you rather be cautious and careful about it. Let's check the power points. We can see that Hangry Troll doesn't have even one power point at the moment uh, and he's not clear by to get Gandalf. Gandalf costs you 6000. We get Elfenwood by Hangry Troll but it's not enough. It's not enough. You don't have Horde Shields. He's going for it but with only two battalions and without tons of units it's uh, going to be tougher. We got level 4 for Eomer and almost level 3 for um, Theoden. It's really, really sick at the moment. Those heroes are going to boost the damage of the units so significant that the uh, Gondor player will not be able to get out of his base. Also, we got Forge Blades and Heavy Armor for Rohan and Rohirrims. Uh, so it not looks like uh, Gondor could do something even with uh, horse lord shields, uh, horse shields it doesn't really matter Rohan will pick up uh, really good map control Gondor knights are still dying, they get to be so close to the well I need help. and even Eomer, uh, even Pippin has been killed and very receiving level 3, there is another Elfenwood from uh, Felixanius and as we can see another Gondor Knights battalion on the way is already on the battlefield rather uh, trying to get all those upgrades and we got Entmut to be honest not really needed Entmut uh, 
because he can just breach the gate uh, as I like to do it and most of the players uh, nowadays bash me for it but I really like to breach the gate when they're open that's why you should close the gates um, Gondor are not able to get out of his base he's trying to prepare some defense the well and the heroic statues to boost uh, Pick up your bows, some leadership to get some leadership but he is facing the player who got more power points than him who got more units than him who got the entire map control lots of settlements been taken and the trolls on the way it's not looking good for the Rohan player uh, for the Gondor player at all we can uh, recognize that Citadel is going down and if Citadel went down there will be no Gandalf alive. We got Faramir on the battlefield, but even Faramir with one and arrow is not enough. Citadel went down, so no more Gandalf, no more Fred. At least uh, Hungry Troll was able to receive Faramir before the Citadel went down, but it's a uh, disaster nonetheless. As we can see, lots of units on the battlefield. We haven't got fire arrows yet for Rohan player because he got just brought to life his archer range. But he is working towards level 2 of the archer range and he will receive definitely fire arrows in a matter of seconds. And as we can see the heroic statues will went down before um, Rohan even starting the assault over there. And even if not, the wounded arrow is not going to work that well. Theoden will be forced to retreat but not for the long time and he goes to Aramir. He'll be used to heal up uh, Theoden. There is Glorious Charge, there is level 4 for Theoden and this is G. This is actually an over, this is G. There is nothing that the uh, Gondor player could do. Citadel went down, the remaining well went down. No more units for uh, Rohan, for Gondor player. And it is going to be G. As we can see, level 4 for both the heroes. Even Mary over there, standing nearby Rohirrims. And this is it. This is an over. Uh, to be honest, too easy pickup for the Rohan player and map like Westfold. Too easy pickup for him, in my opinion. Nothing important happens. We just saw early uh, Rohirrim archers on the field and Eomer using the spear throw to kill more and more units and level up. And this was it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. And see you next time in the next, uh, next commentary of tournament matches from the new year tournament from 2018 thank you very much and see you next time bye bye